Alright, hey guys, uh, this is Chrome FX Films with the next tutorial in my Basics of Unity series. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Terrain Editor. Now, to make it, click the Terrain tab on the menu bar, and click Create Terrain. Uh, your default will be this huge, big, white plane. If you want to edit the size, you can actually go to Window, sorry, actually Terrain, and click Set Resolution. The terrain length is actually the length of the terrain. Now it's set to, to 2000, but if you actually shrink it, it does not change the amount. Like literally, it doesn't literally change it, but in a way it does. So if you are um, making your brush size 100 and you raise it, it's actually getting smaller. So um, if you make the terrain resolution like 100, uh, my max brush size is still really small. It, it just gets smaller and smaller so so I'll keep it on uh, around like 500 for now for this video uh, 750 alright uh, first thing you want to do is add a texture onto your plane now I do not have any textures so I will click assets import package and down here terrain assets uh, it's decompressing and I'm going to import all of them so while I'll just wait for that to finish. All right, there you go. Now I click Edit Textures, Add Texture, and there you go. I got basic textures. Um, I'll make this grass hill, and click Add. You can change the tile size. That is for the different size textures that you have, and if you want to make it more fine, or if you're far from a distance, if you just want to save memory, you do do that. So, Add. I am in rendered view, but I am not in lighting view. So if I turn on lighting, with which is this button right here, it gets really dark. That is because my ambient light is really dark, like I said in my last video. So I would actually drag that up all the way to white and make that uh, as high as it can go. And I will click my camera and reposition it. Now one thing is instead, since if I want to get my camera right here where I'm looking right now, and I, I don't and I want to do this and try to move it up and try to move it like try to get it to my camera position as well as I can and like uh oh, it's not exact uh there's a lot simpler way to do that um just look where you want to go select the camera click game object and align with view and there you go and now it's set with the camera this is really helpful for positioning positions very very helpful this actually works with any game object Alright, so let's start with the terrain. Over here, this first uh, button actually is the uh, style of brush. This this kind of raises your terrain like randomly. So I'll actually turn lighting off for now just so you can see the, uh, sh the shadows and stuff. Brush size changes the amount that you'll raise it and uh, opacity changes the speed that it'll raise it, like how fast. So if I make it really like 100, it'll go really fast. And if I make it like Eight, it goes up really slow, right? And uh, the next option is terrain height. This kind of sets it like at a default height. So if you're raising, like if I'm going like this and I'm trying to get everything at the exact same height, which is almost like impossible. See, I'll, I'll, see, I have this little bump right here, and you, you can. It's just hard to do it. So you click the next button, and it says height. Uh, you'd actually set a default height, and then you s use the um, the brushes and just keep going and then look at that. and it stops at a certain height no matter what height like to according to what height you set right here uh, it would stop it at that height so now as you can see they're all the same height wow glitching out uh, they're all the same height so that's what that is for the next button is smoothing this actually smooths the edges so if you have like really bumpy rocks and stuff uh, this would actually smooth that out as you can see right next this is the paintbrush this is like painting different textures so um, I'll go to um, the layered rock and you can see this little cliff I made over here I can go to my top view over here click F to focus and then I'll start painting that's bad okay and I'll just make the height of this stuff zero and make a, a short little scene 
So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to make a short little scene, and then I'm going to play it again, and then I'll uh, continue from there. Alright, I uh, just changed this up a little bit. Uh, looks a little bit better. Uh, it's just more organized. So, um, I was on painting. Next is placing trees. Now, uh, if you have trees in your project, you can add them. Now, so when you click add tree, it's the same thing as the textures. You just got to click that little dot. And uh, the default thing that the default tree that comes with the terrain pack is the palm tree. Now, uh, over here you can you see bend factor. This is like how much wind affects it. So, all right, brush size. This is just like everything else. It's the um, radius on where it places the trees. Tree density. This is how many trees it places per circle. Blue ring. I'll just call it the blue ring. All right. Uh, if you have a hundred, if you click, lots of trees. If you hold it, it like makes it so fine you can't even see the ground. Um, if you make it like 47, then as you can see, it only makes it a certain amount. 60, 70. Um, color variation. This changes like the color from brownish to greenish. and just it, Overall, it just changes the, the darkness of the tree. But um, for palm trees, you shouldn't have that much. So I'll keep it like that. Uh, tree height. This is how tall you want your trees to be. So I can make really tall palm trees, which is pretty accurate or you could have really short palm trees <laughs> I'll keep it in the middle tree uh, variation this is really good uh, this changes the height so as you can see all the trees are not the same height it looks very realistic and I highly recommend that uh, tree width same thing I have really wide trees which doesn't look very good uh, but in some cases it actually would and then there's a variation so it change, changes um, how wide the trees are so you can see that one's not very wide, and that one is really wide. So that's that. Over here, this is um, adding. Well, let me just add a few trees, just to make the scene look nice. Low density. Like uh, next, um, this is actually for grass. Uh, it works very well with grass, as you can see right here. Grass, grass two the healthy color when you have it this bright green color it actually doesn't look very realistic I would recommend having like a like a light grayish uh, the dry color is okay though mm -hmm. uh, when you place it you have this nice looking grass you have to be careful though because um, unity can only take a certain amount of grass until it starts slowing down it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have unity will still start lo start slowing down because of the program so you have to be very strategic about where you place your grass so only place it where needed and target strength I'd recommend having as low as you can um, and opacity uh, I usually keep, keep this pretty low too because uh, it, pr it place, places grass pretty uh, pretty frequently uh, brush size is the same thing like you can have a lot of grass around here and it still won't get slow but if it's really fine it won't work as you can see it's fading out you can change that. The next button is the preferences. Uh, this is where you can, if you're like trying to edit the terrain and you don't want to see all the grass, you can uncheck this draw, which gets rid of trees, plants, and any other object in the uh, trees and plants section. Um, detail distance. This um, changes the fade length, as you can see. You can see it's all the way down there, but your computer may slow down. So it's all according to uh, what kind of game you're making and what kind, of, what kind of computer you have. This is all just to um, help all that out. The tree distance is how far you can see the trees and I have it all the way uh, to 2000. If I, ch if I make it really low so you can see those trees disappear and if I get closer to them they appear. You don't want to have um, that, that low because if you see trees like popping and stuff it looks pretty uh, unrealistic so I keep it on 2000. Billboards start. This is when the tree, trees are a certain distance they turn into billboards so like you don't have the meshes and everything and it doesn't look that bad. I make it really far away. Uh, it looks really realistic but it does take up a lot of memory so you gotta be careful on that. Fade length. This is the fade length on the trees um, until they become billboards. Uh, max mesh trees. This shows how many trees are going to be in the scene until the billboards start. Down here it says wind. This is the wind that will bend grass. Speed changes the speed of which they will blow back and forth. Size changes how much they will go. And the bending is the amount that they will go on the bending, like how far they would bend. You can add millions of these different types of plants. Um, 
the, if you have different textures, you can add different types of grass. Plus, uh, I actually didn't show you this yet. In the grass, if you click edit, you can actually change the height of the grass. So if you have it 5 and the minimal height is 3, the grass will be a lot taller. So if you're like crawling through tall grass and stuff, uh, this is really helpful. And it looks really cool. The width is the same thing. You can make that 2. And then the, it could, the max could be 4. And as you can see, it looks really thick and stuff. So, and as you can see, it looks like there's a lot of grass, but really, there's not. That's the uh, strategy on how to save your computer from crashing and stuff. So just use little little amounts of grass, and you'll have no problem. That's it for terrains. So thanks for watching. Please comment below on what you thought, and I'll be looking forward to those. Thanks. Bye.